Hey, Will, could you just talk about regrouping for overtime after the way the last minute of regulation played out and how you guys kind of found the fortitude to, to put that behind you and pull this one out? Can you ask that one more time? Sorry, sir, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, just uh, regrouping after the after the final minute of, of regulation, regrouping for overtime and, and finding the way to put that behind you and, and pull this one out. How how'd you guys manage that? Um, I mean, I honestly would say just from my earlier experience this year, you know, we had a couple of games, you know, where, where we hit a hump in the game and we didn't really get over the hump. Uh, I'll take part in that, like not showing great leadership. And then we just we we're just a new team. So we didn't have like we, we didn't we weren't used to that yet. We, we haven't came together yet. So I. I think last game coming off that the COVID stretch we had and then going into that game and winning that tough game on the road, it gave us a little confidence just, just for us to know as a team that, like, you know, we could fight adversity. And I think we did that tonight. The leaders stepped up, especially like uh, Jacob and Davion on the defensive end. And then they got themselves going. Eric's finally playing a, a big role again. So the whole team just coming along and it's just fun, exciting. Matt, go ahead. Yeah, Will, can you just speak on Jacob's play and – the big shots he was able to hit for you guys down the stretch multiple times. Uh, that's, that's just all confidence. Like as a team, we're coming together. This is feeling like one of the teams I've been on before, you know, where everybody really likes each other and everybody cheering for each other. Nobody's mad about playing time. And we're starting to realize that we're starting to buy into the team, the team effort. And any day anybody can have a big day. And today was Jacob's day and he stepped up to it. James, go ahead. <laughs> well, kind of following on that. It's one thing to be confident in yourself when you're doing a lot of isolation as you guys have, but on a night where I think you guys only had like six assists, so it was a lot of isolation play. How much confidence does it build in each other? Because when you see Jacob doing what he's doing, when you see Devion doing what he's doing, when you see Infali inside doing what he's doing in the first half, yeah. how much confidence are you building, not just in your own self, you're a confident player, you score a lot, but in each other, because some of these guys weren't necessarily delivering back in November, or early December. It's a, and uh, it's big. The confidence level is big, but a lot of it comes with comfortability. Like everybody's like, you know, getting used to the system. We're, we're in January now, so everybody knows the plays like the back of their head, you know. We're learning how, how Coach Coach Allman and the coaches staff wants us to play, the speed they want us to play at, what shots are good shots, what shots are bad shots. So you, we everybody's starting to learn the system. And then once you learn the system, like you need to learn what spots you're going to pick. And JY's starting to learn the spots he's going to pick. We, we're we starting to buy in at starting the game off, feeding Fale, getting them going. You know, he's a big piece. And everybody's just stepping up, playing a role. And, and I, I think the thing that helps us the most is like this week, it just like coming out of the COVID stretch, we just felt like closer than we ever have. I don't know why, what happened, but the team just feels as close as we've been all year long and it's starting to show on the court, you know? Chris? Yeah, well, I'm not sure I've ever seen Dana Altman as happy and excited as he was after, after the final buzzer tonight. What was he like in the locker room after picking up that 700th win? Uh, he, he let us know he's proud of us that we're on the road and we fought adversity because, like I said before, so on the road, we haven't been too good. You know, we, we gave a couple games away. So he was just excited that – more excited about us fighting adversity than the win. But, you know, it was a big win for us just to get some confidence in the program, you know, and, and get us back on the right track. But it was just fun, you know. Zach Neal? Well, as, as fun as tonight was, and as exciting of an upset it was, you guys turn it right around and have USC on Saturday night, and that's going to be a really tough game. How do you take this confidence and really build it into something that you can that you can work with on Saturday night? Um, yeah, that's another thing coaches teach, teach, tell us that, you know, don't get too high or too low. You know, this is a big win. We're going to enjoy it tonight. But tomorrow is we got to refocus our mind on to the next game, you know, right to scout report. Get us a quick practice in, you know, and some recovery. But you can't, can't let the win get to us. So, so we just take it one day at a time. We enjoy the win tonight. But tomorrow we're all about business again. All right. Uh, guys, I, I couldn't lower the hands, but anything else? Matt, go ahead. Last one. Well, you've been around Eric the longest. He's the second most experienced player. Can you just put into the context his play and what it means for this team? Because against Oregon State, he said he's healthy, and Dana commented on it. And again, today he played a really good game for you. Just the importance of him being healthy now. Uh, I think he's the X factor, you know, because he, he just has some more size on the wing. He can switch from the three to the four, you know, so he, and, and he gives us another another shot maker, you know. So it's like the X factor on the team. When he plays well, we got an extra little boost behind us. So he's a big part of our team. We need him. All right, guys, thank you. We'll be right back with Coach.